All right, one of the most common questions that we've gotten over the last month and a half or two months is A, two questions. Number one, what is AI? Okay, what is artificial intelligence? And B, how do we use it? So I'm just gonna explain real quick what is AI at a very high level, all right? It's very simple, all right? We can get into very complex terms like logistical regression or linear regression. We're not gonna get into that stuff until later, okay? But what is AI in a nutshell? Well, in order for us to understand what AI is, let's compare it to something we already know, which is a basic program, a basic script that we write, a class we create, or a method that we write, or a function that we write. A basic program is very simple. It has input, it has processing, and it has output. Okay, The output is generally the return. The processing generally only uses constants and variables, and those variables are almost always linear. That is, they are coming from a discrete point that we are processing. Okay, That is a basic program. Artificial intelligence also has inputs, and it also has processing, and it also has an output, but it always outputs to a program, okay? So we may have an input which instantiates our machine learning algorithm. During the processing, we look at things like constants and variables, just like with our regular programs, but also we look at information we learned. So for example, I may have a machine learning algorithm that is trying to predict the most optimal way, the most optimal set point I should have on my flow control valve. So in order for me to determine what the optimal set point is, I have to collect data and then process that data. So for example, an AI algorithm could have an input which fires the program. During processing, we're looking at constants, which are the set points, variables, which is the feedback from the flow control valve. And then we output to a program which stores the result. So the variable would be something like, what is my output flow when my set point is X? I store that, I store what I've learned into a data store, and the next time I, I make a pass through that machine learning algorithm, I use what I've incorporated. That is, I know that at 18 milliamps output, I'm going to, I should expect to see this flow. Maybe I have 18 milliamps output the next pass through, but I see a different flow output. So I'm going to learn from the other variables that I'm consuming in that processing. That is ultimately the difference between a regular program and AI. People who are experts in artificial intelligence are going to get much more complex with this. But for the average controls engineer and systems integrator, what you need to understand is that a program is linear. That is, it has inputs, processing, and output. A machine learning algorithm or artificial intelligence has inputs, processing, which includes data it learned previously, and outputting to another program or data store. That, in a nutshell, is what AI is. In future videos, we're going to explain how to write a machine learning algorithm and how to use it in actual application. But for for now, that should whet everyone's appetite on what it is we can discuss with AI. Hey, Graham, that's for you, buddy. <laughs>